Yeah. So, uh, it's your boy Jonesium, and today I got my uh, Pro Mag Sega 12 um, 10 round drum magazine, and I'm trying to fit it in my uh, my comrade. Um, there is a couple of issues that need to be resolved before you can actually fit it. All right, as you can see. It doesn't catch on the magazine latch, so the instructions gives you, uh, basically it tells you what to do to get the magazine to fit. So really quick, the area that I'm shaving is, it's a narrow shelf over travel stop. Angles up along the sides of the magazine head from the front to the rear. The shelf may contact the shotgun's receiver prior to the magazine release engaging, which is what the problem was on mine. Um, the condition may not allow the magazine to lock into the shotgun. If this condition occurs, material will need to be removed from the shelf. Removing a small amount of polymer material, reducing the height of the shelf from both the left and the right hand side of the shelf will in most cases correct the issue. So let's get to it so I'm just gonna shave down until it fits in the magazine well so here we go so you just have to shave it down enough to where it actually catches the uh, so that it can actually uh, lock into the magazine All right, so we're just gonna shave it down on each side um, that pretty much fixed the issue. If we see here, so now it, it actually engages the magazine release. So, don't remove too much material, obviously, but. So it snaps in. <clears throat> okay, so the unfortunate thing about this magazine or these magazines the drum magazines in general uh, the pro mag ones I should say is that they don't fit um, shells that are longer than I think 2.4 inches and so the um, the Rio which I already which is the the brand that I usually buy, the Rio slugs or buckshots. Unfortunately, they're too long. So what happens with shells that are too long is that when it goes to feed the next round, right? The plastic casing has uh, something on the inside that pushes the round forward as it comes up so it pushes it forward so that it feeds out now what happens is with the longer shell it'll push it against the case and it'll get stuck I took the took the piece out here I'm just gonna use this little crusty spoon I got so as you can see when I loosen up the case, you see they feed fine, right? So I'm gonna load up the mag for you so that we could see uh, how to load it up. So I'm just gonna put, put these in here. So I got, I got a whole bunch of this Royal Buck. So I'll just be using the regular mags to use up my royal buck it doesn't matter either way they all shoot the same so we got the tactical rifled slug from uh, federal and takes 10 rounds so I'm just gonna use five from PMC five from federal so what I do is uh, I just press it down it's kind of normal like the regular way you would load a mag and then I would just do that you know just press it down 
right? I like to press it down um, away from the away from the metal. You can see even with the five round, the stick is longer than the than the drum, and a ten round stick is going to be <laughs> double this length. So it's a lot more compact, which is why a lot of people get the drum magazines. 